hi welcome back to my youtube tutorials this is abm graphics yes today i just want to show you how to design a beautiful banner for your client maybe a makeup or a beauty salon banner for your client so that is what i just did for my for my clients yes so i just want to show you how to design this simple one yes with even two this way or this one this way or this one is all beautiful so let's just go into it and i'll show you how to do that yes welcome back so what i have to do now is that i'll just create a new document and that particular new document he said i should use three by five three feet five feet on it yes and he wanted landscape no problem so what you need to do is that you just come and change your details here you call it banner i'll call it banner all right then the next thing i have to do is to make my distance custom size i need a custom size so i'll change it this one to what inches so what the next thing i have to do is to bring up a distance then three feet so three times 12 to get your what to get your inches so it's 36 you get that then you copy then you paste it over here you get that then you come back for 5 by 12 again then you get 60 so no one will tell you that this is going to be a big one 3 by 5 is not that easy yes so for for the printing purpose if you make it 300 for the resolution fine but you see that the document is going to be a very big one like image size 506.2 megabyte is very big however you haven't add anything to it it's just that so you see that it's very big for so for for the tutorial sake what i have to do is that i just want to make my my resolution very small so that i don't get uh, more destructive when I'm, when I'm designing because for you to use a higher resolution make sure that your RAM your everything is up is good okay yes if not that the Photoshop will do what it will freeze or it will keep on giving you some unnecessary things that you don't even understand so what I have to do over here is that I just want to use 72 you see that 72 for that and you can even see 72 is 32 megabyte is 32 uh, uh, megabyte you see that that one too is still but let's just manage with that so i'll click ok so there is the 3 by 5 that is how it will look like yes so when you check on this design that is what we have to do you get that so let me just open up so what the next thing i have to do is go import in the picture i've downloaded so many pictures over here that i have to, i want to use so first of all let's go with this picture so i'll transform it like this okay then i'll click ok then i'll move it to the top that is where i want it to be you get that then the next now you will come and pick ellipse tool that is the circular tool then i'll hold shift then i'll draw like this okay yes then i'll have something over here like this so what i have to do is that I'll, I'll transform it more then i'll have something like this then what i have to do over here is that i'll close up this one then i'll open up the stroke you get that so the stroke is gradient so i'll come and choose gradient color over here so this one is black and this one should not be total black this way you get that then i'll make the distance to let's say 100 100 is too small so let me make it somewhere 200 200 okay 200 is okay but let me see 250 I just want to get a big one so this one is okay for me you get that so now uh, this one let me make it somewhere 17 like this so I'll have some kind of this thing so 
so the angle I just want to be 17 so I'll have something like this so what I have to do is that I'll push it in like that then I'll transform it again by holding shift alternate then I'll have something like this you get that yes then I'll push this one over here you get that so the next thing I have to do is come and pick my rectangular tool over here then I'll draw something like this okay so I'll have something like this you get that so this one I will change the color to this color over here I've already choose the color over down there so I'll choose the color to be like this you get that then what I have to do is that I'll come to edit then I'll come to free transform for also the free transform uh, on the this particular shape I'll just right click and come to wrap you get that so I'll let this one go top then I'll let this one to go top you get that I just want to get a, a, a shape that will fit in into that so I'll click OK so I'll move it in over here over here so you can see that there is still a gap here so you, you, you right click again then you wrap it again just to make it fit in to that particular uh, this thing like that okay okay so this way so when you have something like this what you have to do this one you have to bring it up so that it will take over the design that you want you see that so it's very beautiful one so you can save yes always save whilst you are doing of course anything can happen at the end of the day so the next thing i have to do is that the person has sent me his details over here so the name is what fatty beauty salon so I'll paste in Sati Beauty Salon like that. Then I'll change it to Poppins. I like using Poppins. Yes, I like using Poppins. So I'll make it black. So then I'll increase it for you to just see. So the next thing I have to do is to draw another circle. Hold it shift to draw another circle over here. The, 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 the document is too big. so. You, you can't use it no problem about having it so this thing is so this is what i'll have then i'll duplicate it by right clicking here then i'll come to duplicate you get that then i'll transform it in okay then i'll change the color to black again like this you get that so from here this one i'll come and click then i'll close it up then I'll come and open this one. That one too, I want it to be in a gradient form. So I'll click over here. Then I'll choose this particular gradient. Then I'll make it 100. Okay. So I think 100 is okay. So what I have to do is that, let me just transform it over this way. Then I'll have something like this. I don't want the person this thing to be too distant. So I just have to do it simple. So I'll copy this one. Then I'll come and paste it over there like that then i'll change the color let let me make it this one for now then i'll let it come on top then i'll make it cap all capitals then i'll increase the size increase the size like this then i'll make it extra bold like that you get that so then I'll just come and pick up the beauty salon then I'll bring it over here and that one should come on top of the listing so I'll make the color white then I'll change the font name to Amarillo Amarillo I like using that one too so I'll in decrease the size of the listing then I'll watch what it's doing so I think 100 is okay for that level so I'll have it like this. You get that. So I'll group that two things over there. Then I'll call it title. Okay. Make your your work good and nice. You get that so that uh, people will like it. I'll just transform it small so that the picture over there to also somehow also appear. You get that. Yes. 
so it's saving and you see it, it takes time before saving so what i have to do is that i don't have to keep waiting but let me do just one then we see how the thing is, has come so i'll just pick a rectangular tool over here then i'll draw something like this then i'll change the color to black so black you get that then i'll click this one and then i'll come over here you see that then i'll push it in just to get some rounded this thing you see it has been rounded so i'll push it more to have something like this so it's okay so i'll go over to file then i'll come to place link then i'll come and pick this picture then i'll make it come over here then i'll click ok then i'll come over here then i'll right click and create clipping mask so then i'll transform the picture like this okay then i'll click ok then i'll have it like this you get that yes so once we're doing this check whether there is still some kind of problems around and just solve it yes so there is how that this thing has been done you get that then what you need to do is that you start you, you start doing the layout how you want it to be so i'll group it yes then i'll call that one one then i'll move this one over here then i'll call it two then i'll duplicate then I'll move this one over here. You get that? Yes. So there is how you would keep on doing until you get uh, all the pictures that you want is that it has been set on. So there is how. Okay. Yes. You have something like this. It's okay for you. So the next thing I have to do is that checking on the list and see I have. I have put something over here and that is the services so I'll just come and pick the services over there then I'll come and put it over here you get that so uh, for the service 66 so that will just make it 72 it's okay then I'll come and pick the contact then I'll push it over here to, to come over here it's okay so I'll save was doing keep saving okay so let's come back for me not to get stranded or to get the, the, the video too long i just want to pick all these things and then go and paste it in but first of all you see that the background it has a background you see that so let's do the background before so let me just close up these things then you understand how i created that particular background so i'll click this one then I'll come and pick up a picture over here, which is this. Then I'll come and paste it in. Then I'll transform it to very big one, like this. Then I'll make it come over, down, 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 like this, okay? Then I'll click OK. Then what I have to do over here is to right click and then create a clipping mask. Then after creating a clipping mask, I'll change the distance to multiple. If multiple is not good for you, always you can use soft light and you see that it will it will make it so distant for you then you have it somewhere like this you get that yes so then you can now work with so this is how the background has been created if you see that the background has appeared too much you can just reduce the the the, the, the image to how you want it to be yes so let's just come on i'll just copy this one this one this one and then this one and then this one and then that one so let me see which one i have copied so the two circles so leave it so that is how the distance has been done and i'll have it like this this is three by five banner that i'm working with but this one i worked it in a4 you see that it's in a4 yes so even when you check on the headers thing you see that 8 by 11 so that's a4 size so and this one is what 3 by 5 feet difference so right now let's see so this is how the distance i've done it then i'll come and pick uh, these two over here this one too 
okay pick that one pick that one let me see this one yes and i'll pick this one too then i'll just come and put it over here we get that so uh, this one i'll increase it this is what she interested yes so i'll just make that one bigger some of the client may tell you that i need this kind of picture to be too big this kind of picture not to be too big you see that so always get more information from your clients before everything so let me have let's have something like this so uh, this one let me just transform it so that you go down small then i'll have it something like it over there you get that yes so now this one i want uh, this thing to come so i'll just make it like this then i'll save okay there is still space here someone will tell you that why do you design and you have a white space or oh, there is my space look not every design that you should always close up spaces no if you understand your composition if your composition is well composed and eh, you don't need to get headache about white spaces and whole lot of things no you get that you only what you need to do is balancing it and the, through the composition that you balance it and that's what we are doing so let's just get into that so yes so let's have something like this over here then this one this one and this one so i'll pick up this one okay let me make it come this way so this one and this one then i'll move it over here then you do you i just want to transform it very bigger you get that so having white white space no problem in your design okay what you need to do is that when a person still designing something you can see those kind of problems but when the person finish with that you understand that the person really understand what he's doing so it's not just having having math to talk no you just have to understand what the person is doing we compose then we design simple so let's just get into that and let's uh don't have problems yes so the next thing I have to do is to bring up this tool. Okay. The person sent me a whole lot of pictures, so I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't even have it without any problem. So let's squeeze up this one, okay. start from this one too. Then we have something like that. So this particular picture. I'll bring it over here For now let me bring it over here then I'll solve these two problems so this one and this one should come over here we get that it should come over here so it means that it means that every size has its own composition look at what I did here you, you get that it was such a rough work that i did for them and that is what the person actually want three by five size so i'm working it on three by five size simple so let's just go into it so let me transform it by moving it top okay then let's see something over here so I just want to put some line, some shape over here. In that particular shape, I'll just make it this color for now. And I'll have something like that over there. Then I'll bring it down to cover so that these two elements will come up. The, th the, the contact and the services, it will come. I want it to come. So then I'll save. Okay. so right now let's duplicate these two layers over there these two grouped layers so 
so I'll duplicate it then I'll move it up in or let me say let me just hold shift control to move it nicely you get that so that is what I'll have then I'll change that particular picture let me go to file then I'll get a whole lot of pictures are there for me to use so there's no need for me to be you know having problems and those kind of things you know so I'll have it like this then I'll make it go in create a clipping mask then I'll transform it like that okay then I'll make it go top okay then let me make it go this way okay then I'll come and choose different picture over there for that particular this thing so let me check there are more pictures and you know the color of pictures are there and I don't have to repeat any picture no I don't have so let me pick this beautiful girl too yes she can also come up with something yes have something like this then I'll click ok so I'll create a paper mask I'll transform it ok yes so when you have something like this but there is something I, have to, I want to show you you see that if I I want the picture to be like this to, to, to just come out very well you see that this way but I'll have spaces those kind of this thing here but I don't like it that way so what do you do you just have to right click here and right stylize it then you come and pick a tool over here called rectangular marking tool then you come and just draw something like this mm -hmm. then you right click then you fill then you select content field then you click ok let's just wait for it to, 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 to fill up what I mean you see that you see that it has filled and it looks beautiful just look at what what has happened you get that so there is really uh, get enough those kind of things so you don't need to stretch the, the picture or make it look unprofessional no you just have to do it nicely okay and this is what we will get over here to like this okay yes so you can right click and disable it so let's see how how far we have come to the designing of the composition of the distance yes so let's see something over here this picture I wanted to let it look some parts okay so this one let me have it down small <coughs> all right so I'll have it like that let me come over here then do this one okay so the first challenge will be here We are just getting to the end of the design. Okay. So I just want to give people attention when it comes to the that bottom line. I just want to give people attention so that anybody who is going to pass them by and the person can easily read what is there you get that yes without anything bigger so let's see this one okay i don't want it to be doing this thing so that it will get uh, this thing so this way actually this thing is not going to uh, the person is not going to paste it on anything so understand this method now and forever 
because the person is not pasting it he just want to print it as a banner and then either hang it or do anything to it you, if you make the contact to even come over here like this it is not a bad thing yes it is never a bad thing but if it is for pasting like a sticker form for that one at least you can just leave an inch or two inches right away so that you won't get confusion through the pasting yes so actually we have just come to the end of the tutorial for this beautiful flyer for this beautiful banner thank you very much for watching this is abm graphics have a nice day bye bye